wow, Blackmagic Design finally did it. They finally released the camera that I've personally been waiting for, an all new camera. And finally it has all the bells and whistles that we have all waited a decade for, a tilt screen, Sony batteries, a new battery grip, built-in ND filters, and a super nice looking removable EVF and the new Gen 5 color science. So let's get into it. So let's get into what this camera is. Basically, it's a Pocket 6K on steroids. It's the same design, but it's upgraded to work better for like a production setting. The Blackmagic Design Pocket 6K Pro has an EVF for outdoor shooting with four included eyepieces that are not required to be bought separately. It has a glass lens with an optical eye adjustment. It has an OLED screen and has auto switch on and off functionality via a proximity sensor. This EVF is an OLED with 33% more space inside to display all the mission critical info like frame rate, histogram, record and status and audio meters. The new Blackmagic Design Pocket 6K Pro uses the same media as the previous pocket cameras. It has the same inputs, but it has one additional XLR audio connection for an additional professional microphone. There is a new battery grip called the Blackmagic Pocket Pro Battery Grip that holds two Sony batteries, meaning that you can run three batteries at a time. One becomes an internal removable battery, meaning that you never ever need to switch the camera off during a shoot. Basically, the two batteries that go into the battery sled will charge the internal battery. So when you need to change batteries in the battery sled, it doesn't power down the camera. Now the battery sled and the camera uses Sony MPF 570 batteries and Blackmagic is claiming if you use the battery grip, you're going to get about three hours of runtime per charge. In addition, Blackmagic Design has finally, finally included a tilt screen, which is just a massive addition. So thank you Blackmagic Design for doing that. And as I was saying in my previous video, which you can watch up here on the 2.5K camera, the original camera, this is something that Blackmagic Design has actually taken nine years to address. So I'm really glad to see that Blackmagic Design is finally listening to their user base. Goodbye tilt -to screen upgrade, you're no longer needed. But I think the two, the two most important additions to this camera are the EVF, and the ND filters, which have up to six stops of internal IR ND. The IR filters have been designed to filter out both the optical and IR wavelengths evenly, eliminating the IR contamination from your images. The activation buttons are located on the rear of the camera body, placed within easy reach of your thumb from the multifunction hand grip. These industry standard additions are really going to change how these cameras are used and with that, this camera now becomes direct competition with a Red Komodo, a C70, an FX6, and possibly the rumored Sony FX3. And as this camera is less than half the cost of the C70 and the Komodo, and most likely cheaper than the rumored Sony FX3, I think the Blackmagic design again is going to just be overwhelmed with orders. The sensor is the same 21.2 megapixel CMOS sensor from the Pocket 6K. It has the same EF mount, and because it has the same sensor, it has the same dual ISO as the Pocket 6K. It has 13 stops of dynamic range. It has the same codex, brawl and compression choices of all the previous generations of Blackmagic design cameras, i.e. the Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera. And it will work seamlessly in post because it comes with a free copy of Resolve 17. The price is 24.95 for the body only. The EVF is 4.95 and the pro battery grip is 145 US dollars. But obviously these prices will change depending on where you are in the world and what taxes you have to pay. This camera literally fixes all of the problems that these cameras have had in the past nine years. Will I be buying this camera? Absolutely yes, I've already placed an order because I think it's a very safe bet because the sense is already proven and the only things that have changed are the functionality of the camera. And if you're like me and you have previous generations of cameras like the Pocket 4K, well, you don't need to feel left out because the Pocket 4K and 6K will receive the new Gen 5 color science and, will, and that's probably gonna roll out in the next month or two and it will be camera update 7.3. So just keep your eye on the Blackmagic Design website um, over the next month to see when that becomes available. Now, Blackmagic Design has said that the availability of this camera is now, but Blackmagic Design doesn't have a great track record in terms of delivering things on time. 
and that could possibly be the only deal breaker for me. So if you're interested in this camera, you're going to have to act fast because it's going to sell out quick. Uh, otherwise, you could be waiting months, months, possibly even a year for delivery, like what I did for, with my Pocket 4K. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.